Today we're going to be writing in root quality chords on top of the music and we'll be writing them for uh, the triads, the dominant sevenths, and the diminished sevenths. At the end of it you'll go... That was easy. Hi, the first one will be for the supertonic triad of D flat major. So supertonic means above. So think of the word super, so above the tonic. So D flat major, what's the key signature? So we're gonna go battle, ends, and down goes. So we always say one more to the letter to get the key signature. Now we're gonna start on the supertonic. Supertonic is the one above. So we're gonna start on the E, G, B. Now you see this two? We know it's gonna be minor, right? Because it's the small Roman numerals. And in E flat major, would you play G flat? No, that's a minor. You would play it as a G. In E flat major, would you play B flat perfect fifth? So that makes it an E flat, and you use a small M. So the next one we have is the dominant seventh chord of F minor. So dominant seventh of F minor. So who's F minor related to? Remember, go three half steps up. One, two, three, A flat major. What's the key signature? A flat, so we're looking for flats. Battle, ends, and down. Always say one more word. Dominant, the dominant to F. F, G, A, B, C. We're gonna start on the C. So let's choose this C, E. Now we're gonna have four different letters because it's the dominant seventh. Now because this started on the fifth, what happens to any seventh on a minor? We need to raise it. Because that's an E flat, we make it an E natural. So it would be a C7 chord. Now we're going to write the leading tone, diminished seven chord of E minor. Okay, so you can see that it says here E minor, and it says V, two small I's, diminished seventh. So E minor, first things first. Who's E minor related to? Go three half steps up. G major. So there's one sharp, F sharp. Starting on the diminished seventh, that means we start on the seventh of that. So we're going to start writing it on the D, and you're going to have four different letters. All right. Now remember, because this was the seventh of a minor, we need to raise it. How you raise that D? It's not in the key signature, so we're going to put a sharp. So it's going to be a D sharp, an F sharp, an A, and a C. All minor thirds apart. You would write it at seven. 